All right, y'all, so I'm kind of in a rush right now because it's about to rain. And I'm trying to hunt real quick before it rain, but me and Wardell are gonna walk, get a head up, see if we can kill. And uh, I got my tie, we hip waders on. They sent me these in the mail, so y'all check them out online at tiedweed.com. But I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm gonna turn y'all on whenever we get action.
he's still alive, y'all. I'm gonna let him bleed out for a little bit. I'm putting that shell in. Yo. Hey, come help me drag this deer. <laughs> Alright, I'm walking down the uh, pile line now. Alright, uh, you just keep walking all, all the way down. I'm all the way at the end. Just, just uh, yell. I'm gonna I'm yell and you yell back. Bro, it's just a straight shot. Like, just keep walking until you can't. I mean, I'm all, I'm all the way at the end, so you'll see me. Alright. Alright. Where is my tags? Where did I just put my knife? Oh my God. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Oh, there it go. Uh, I got a better knife, y'all. Thanks to Knife a Month on Instagram. He sent me some knives. I guess he watched my video when I couldn't um, tag that other buck on the power line. So he sent me a knife so I wouldn't have that problem no more. So y'all go check him out on Instagram. That's the sharpest knife. Right here, you know, I keep that on my belt loop so I won't forget it, but got another buck down. Let's take a look at his rack. Ugh. Another big body deer. He got a big body on him. And matter of fact, I just shot an antler off. This, I was just talking about the six point I seen, and I shot his antler off. His antler fell somewhere, but it's a nice deer. So, I mean, uh, more meat in the freezer. I'm trying to look for his antler now. Uh, that'll be all right, you know. I ain't putting them on the wall. But I do got some more meat in the freezer, so. Wardell, yeah. come over here, I'm right here. You remember I told you about that six point buck I seen? That him? That's him. Damn. I shot one of his antlers off though. You're gonna have to go all the way back around, dude. He tried to double back on me. He wasn't quick enough though. Listen, man, yo, I seen when you threw up. I was, you was like, oh, you seen me? That was before I shot? Yeah, that was before I shot. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was when I jumped him up right there. And I, I was gonna keep walking, trying to push a deer to you. But I said, this is probably a deer trying to sneak out. So I turned around and waited. And I, and I seen him. And I said, he might try to cross this power line. And he wasn't gonna bust out, you know. He wasn't gonna bust out to the right. Bro, he was eating them buckshot. Bro, I was like 15 yards away from him. I put a whole load in his shoulder and he was not going down. A whole load in his shoulder, bro. That is way too long of a, a um, drag. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I know these people up here, so um, I'm gonna go knock on the door and see if they home, but yeah. You shot him on that side? Bro, look. I put the whole load in him, he wouldn't go down. That's literally the whole load right there. And that, that no rims and shells, that's 12 pellets right there, bro. I had to get up close to him and shoot him in the spine for him to drop. He was not going down. I appreciate it. Here's the deer right here, his cute self, you know. A cutie right there. I shot the antler off of him on this side, but he was a six, you know. And um, like I say, thanks to Luna. Y'all go check them out online. And um, what I was about to say. Uh, but yeah. You don't need no dogs. You don't need no corn to kill you a deer. Uh, it's a mind game, so. But thank y'all for tuning in to Jake Cameron Outdoors. Until next time, peace out.